text file. So you right click on the project and you go under add new item. And under general, you should be able to find text file. So add new item under general, you can find text file. We will going to call this text file pioneers.txt. For now, we're not going to put anything in pioneers.txt. Rather, we will going to talk to pioneers.txt from the file, from the code. So after this, let's declare another object called file name as string. This is where we can give the full path of the pioneers.txt. Since file name already exists, let me call name this file name too. So file name two as string, and you put the path to the file. Then we will going to create an object of stream writer type. And we're going to give it access to file name too, so that we can write to it. And then later on, we can read from it. So this object of stream writer type will allow us to write to the file. Now we can use this object, and just like you do console.writeline, if I now do write line, I will actually going to be writing to my stream writer, which will be writing to the file, which is under file name too. After you write the data in the pioneers.txt, you need to close the stream writer because when you close the stream writer, it will flush the data that it has collected to the file. So now when you run this program, again, I'm going to give you the same output as before, but now if you double click, yeah, yes to all. If you double click on pioneers.txt, you should now be able to see some data there. So except for file name to a string, that line, I have commented the rest of the code. Because now I am interested in reading back what I've written to the file. So to read, what do you think? To write, if we use stream writer to read, we should use stream reader, okay? So stream reader as stream reader equals to file dot open text file name two. So now you open the text file for reading till the end of the file. So we can use a loop, a do until loop or a do while loop, whatever is the case, do until the stream reader is reading till the end. So it grabs the data from the file and keep grabbing from the file till it runs out of data. So every time it grabs the data, console.writeline dot 
we want to read the line. And this is the data that we put in the file, and then we are able to read it back. 